Hello and welcome to this, the Zero AD Champions Cup. Today we are watching the semi-final of the lower bracket. Well, the semi-final overall, and this is the lower bracket, so whoever wins this goes to the grand final. Uh, yeah, Valorant versus Borg, mirror matchup, Ptolemies versus Ptolemies, and it should be good. Get the speed up to regular. Now, the Ptolemies can build free uh, houses. Their houses are built from mud bricks, so they have n no need for wood resources in building them. So, as you can see, uh, Valorant over here just going nuts on houses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, storehouse and granary, farmstead, <laughs> farmstead. Four houses over here for Mr. Borgo. Borgi, Borgi, Borge. So is um. The two Borgs that I know of are Star Trek and the tennis player. Um, there was a tennis player, wasn't there? Something something Borg? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not old enough to, to know these kinds of things. And Valorant. Val... Valiant? Val... Valor... Valerant? I don't know how to pronounce that. Casual start, farmsteads and storehouses going down, storehouse over by these copse of trees. Borg has decided that uh, he didn't like where those houses were and he was going to put them there instead. Farmstead next to the, was it, figs? Fig tree. A lot of camels there eating, eating that grass. It would be cool if the grass slowly disappeared and then reappeared in other places. And it would also be cool if they had some kind of attraction value so that they wanted to go to the grass. A lot of shooting, but not a lot of anybody hitting each other. Just moving around too much. Pardon. Still a lot of shooting, and still a lot of not anybody getting hurt by the shooting. This empire is starting to get pretty... empiric. It's an... An empirical empire? No. That is not allowed. Well, not good enough. These ladies were idle. Eight of them, doing nothing. Gee, how about that? It's like... Oh, I see. So you just put eight on the farm, and then the other the ones that didn't end up farming, you use your idle villager key to have them do things. How did he do it to all three of... Actually, how... What? <laughs> what?
But why did they split? I don't know how you do that. Massive empires going on. Just empires for days. A lot of these... Uh, Nabat Nabatean? Nab Nabatean Nabatean Camel Archers Moose Moose What's that one? Is that R uh, or ah, uh. I think it's ah uh, actually. Mustabik, Mustabik. Probably, I don't know. I mean, come on, look at look at these words that we've got here. Phalagoma chemos. Phalag. Phalag. Phalagoma chemos. I mean, come on, really? <laughs> it's not even fair. It's, like, it's basically German words with 400 letters in it. I like uh, the strat of getting uh, any kind of horses out for fast animal farming early game. Get a lot of women out really quickly. A little thing happening here, skirmish. It's skirmish-ish. It's not a hundred percent a skirmish. But it has somewhat of the attributes which often are attributed to a skirmish. There's some words for you. You want to be like them words? Look at these jukes. Couple on low health, couple on low health. But fairly... Fairly um, uneventful overall. You see, I like this. Storehouses needed copses of trees. Not a storehouse next to one tree. Like, who cares about these individual trees? They take so long to get rid of. You gotta move from tree to tree to tree, and it's just, it's not on. So this is much better. You've got a copse of trees there. Copse of trees here. Copse of trees there. You don't see any, like, a storehouse here. Nobody's good doing that. Not in the high-level games. <laughs> uh, dear, the other one was a high-level game too, just maybe not quite as much. I mean, these are the, some of the best. Borg is the highest-rated player in the world. So in terms of population, we have Phil, I was going to say Feld, Feld, Valorant coming in a little, a little ahead of old Borgo, old Borgo. Now I'm sure you're young at heart. You old person. <laughs> um, I'm just, oh dear, just harmless banter.
I mean, I, I've got to do something. I can't beat him in a game, so all I can do is call him old. <laughs> that's the one. That's the most I can do to him. Whereas he could demolish my entire like everything in this game, like yeah. So, and probably many other RTS type games. A more significant skirmish happening here. A slightly s significant skirmish. Look at how slightly significant this skirmish is. Camels dying. Camels sh shooting arrows at men and then carrying their meat back home. Like, nah, I've had enough shooting you. I've got this meat here. I've got to do. I'll take this meat. That's the worst thing when they do that, when they put their spear up in the air. Like, I think it's them leveling up or something. It's the worst. It's guaranteed death. They just stop for so long. All these camels are mm, having a bad time. Just men running. That's that's zero AD. Men running. Chasing. Men chasing other men. <laughs> the women doing the actual serious work while the men bugger about running, chasing, playing tag with each other. <laughs> this is this is a real life simulator here. Alright, let's check out what we're going for resources. Town phase now for Borg. Valorant shouldn't be far away. Still maintaining the population lead over Borg throughout these skirmishes. The other thing is, Borg has all of the vision. He knows everything that could possibly happen, basically. Whereas Valorant's vision is all right, but it's only due to his gatherers running around. It's not permanent. These are nice. These are good. Much slower building for Borg in the early game, although now, after these skirmishes, is the time to build again, it seems. Oh, there's some men doing some work now. This was he was just standing here. Theroforos Acrobolistes. I tried to say that way too quickly. Therophoros Acro Belistes 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 Therophoros Acrobelistes Maybe. I gotta learn what all those things above letters mean. At the moment, I just try a few and, until one sounds correct. <laughs> um, hmm. 
So the farmstead next to the fig tree was good, but it hasn't been used yet. But the thing is, it's ready to go, ready to go for later on. Still with a the same, roughly the same population lead that he has had throughout this entire game of about 20, 10 to 20. More little skirmishes here and there. Here, there, and here. You wouldn't... No, actually, don't worry. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. I was going to talk about <laughs> my problems recording this video. Yeah, I need to know about that. That's boring. <laughs> Temple going up here. I've seen this replay before. I know what happens. I know what this is. I know what that is. Oh yeah, I don't need no HUD. Oh no, it's a fortress. <laughs> and there's a library. I think the temple goes here or something. Pretty sure he gets one at some point. I mean, look at these civilizations. I tell you what, these are some civilizations right here. a more standard view. The buildings look very shiny from this way. Just an ever so slightly overloaded encoding there for a second, but we're back to good. It doesn't like having to do things, this uh, encoder. I like this, how the buildings are like, he's been turning them around and stuff. I really like that. This Borg is mostly just in a grid. Is that three racks? Got the triple racks down in the quad. Whereas... Just the two over here for that. Oh no, one over here. Some of these. Now, with a balos. advantage. Very close to one another now. Their buildings will be almost touching. Very close to each other. It's funny, at different points in the game, a different camera angle is appropriate. It's something that I don't really do is change my camera angle in game, whereas it's something that is probably good. A hero over here. They have each decided to construct the 
hero with uh, elephant. Ah, elephant. Not an elephant, apparently. The R was an interjection, not an other thing. Not an actual... Particle word. Not an not an actual particle word. And it's not interjection. It's like a crutch word, like um, um, ah, uh, hmm, like, and all those. <laughs> Here is where it's all starting to happen. Siege catapults going down. There's, and here, there are more coming out over here. Where do they make their hero from? It's not the fortress. It's somewhere else. Whoa, hold on there camera. Come back here and do what I want you to. Valorant with a massive population lead at this point. Whoa. Catapults ready, but plenty of catapults for defense. Valorant still with a massive population lead and resources lead and everything. Valorant has been winning this entire game. His, uh, his early game like population booming, his his building, his expansions. Not not so much expansions. Like there's no uh, no other t town centres. Whereas there is a military colony over here for Borg. It's all just happening now. This is where it just all happens. This is just an epic thing. Look at how much of an epic thing this is. This, wow, this is not even nearly a word. Well, it is. It's just all happening. Sixty-two versus ninety skirmishes. Just give the game a second to do that. And resign. Wow, that shocked me again. Um, just like it did the first time. Um, uh, I mean... He had more catapults than him. 
by um, one or two. Uh, still had 75 skirmishes to Borg's 97. A few more skirmishes, but uh, Valorant certainly had the resources to manufacture a few more. I'm fairly new at the game, but I I would have kept this going a little longer. I mean, sure, he had more skirmishes, but uh, with a super upgraded or anything? I don't know. I, d I don't know about that. Why not just keep it going a little longer? Oh, well. We'll see what happens in game two. Here we are now with game two. Valorant versus Borg. Mirror matchup again. Potomis versus Potomis. This time on the lake map. Beautiful lake here. Well, is that a lake? Isn't the lake like a stream or a river? Isn't that more like a pond? A big pond? <laughs> Not really a pond. But a, uh, what do you call it? There's a word for it. Farmstead and some buildings. Some zebu. Are these zebu? Wildebeest. Okay, fine. Don't be zebu. Gazelle. Maybe zebu are in a different part of the world. Now, chickens. Chickens are everywhere. Chickens will always exist. It fell over! The chicken fell over. It's weird. Ah! It flaps its wings a bit. Ugh. The head should come off. It just... Nothing should happen. The head should come off and then nothing. No. The head should come off and it runs around a, a bit. That's what should happen. These guys are warriors. Warrior people. I like this up on the top here. I'd put, um, put a chair up there though underneath this. Why are you using that just to store wood underneath? It's a nice... Uh, Oh, they've all got an upstairs. You can just get up on the roof and hang out. That's great. Those are cool designs for the buildings. Little houses. Speaking of houses, houses for days over here. Do these houses have also? Yes, except this one, but it has a ladder instead. They love getting up on top of these houses and hanging out. I mean, why not? That's great. Dock for Borg. Docks are fairly important on these types of maps. Your range of your boats will be, well, I can't show you the rectangle because it doesn't work in 4K, but, um, you know, around, there's a area around this big mass of water where archer boats, all boats are archers, there's no, well, there might be one or two melee ones, ramming boats. But if you wanted to try and 
get these things, you'll be have arrows shooting at you and you won't like it, I'll tell you. Okay, so the water in this map wrecks my encoding apparently, so we're just going to look at it like this. Encoding still a little wrecked, but we'll be okay. How are we going? Or pops. About the same, about the same, about the same. Docks are also very good for res resource collection. If the next map has water, I may have to turn the water graphics down. Oh, here it comes. Cav Rush. The Cav Rush has arrived. Oh, look at they're all split out. Oh, wow. He's really doing it here, I tell ya. Look at this. Oh, wow, look at. Oh, he's a madman. This man is mad. Just destroying his economy back here. Oh. Meanwhile, the exact same thing is happening in his base. Cav rush versus cav rush. What is the population? Valorant is well ahead as usual. Usual. <laughs> usual. 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 Micro. Oh, look, oh, wiggle waggle with this micro here, I tell ya. He's wiggle waggling. Oh, he's wiggle waggled this guy into oblivion. He's just obliviated now. It's like obliterated, but different. Obliviated. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. <laughs> the positioning of that dock looks looks nice aesthetically. Oh, and here it comes, the big thingy. What is it? Pinterest. some guys in it to increase the firepower and then destroy his economy a little or uh, or just go over here what's he doing oh yeah you know, he's, he's taking them out oh the boats are all gone Oh, and another boat coming out now. That'll be intimidating. 
I mean, you can't get really get any of these resources now. Oh, and here it comes, over here. This is his counter. Just wiggle, wiggle. What are we... How are we going here? Still a little ahead. It's looking... It's looking okay. Fairly even. Borg has control of the waterway, but... I mean... I mean, I guess that's a problem. You could get around it. Don't need the water. <laughs> yeah, you kind of do. I guess you really need the water. All right, game three. Let's go. Let's do it. Valorant in the blue, Borg in the red, and regular speed. I think it is the water that messes with my CPU as well, something on that map, because my coding is not overloaded anymore. Though apparently I'm using 103% CPU, so that's mm, alright. OBS, I'm not sure how it determines how much CPU it's using, but I'm sure it's not 103%. <laughs> I'm fairly actually, I can tell you with absolute certainty that OBS is not using more than 100% of my CPU's capability. Considering the laws of physics, <laughs> or just the laws of facts, that <laughs> you can't use more than a hundred percent of something. Not a something that's static, like that. Maybe if something is variable in some way, and or if replenishes itself, or whatever, you know. You cannot use more than one hundred percent of a CPU at one time. Mate. No, it's something to do with the LQX scheduler. Wow, they, he's aggroing every elephant. What? Just get all that done. How did these elephants get aggroed? What? Since when did he... He must have sent one of these over earlier to do that. Oh my lord! <laughs> Just elephants. He's doing kind of the same thing. He's only had two. Some over here he could get. Look at this absurdity! Wow! What? The, how much food is that? Oh my lord! Each one of those is like four berry bushes. <laughs> Um, okay, good game. Uh, Bogwan. Oh, did Bogwan. I'm sorry. <laughs> that He has that many elephants right next to his base. He is going to have food for days. Like, he doesn't need to build farms. He doesn't need to build women. He, does, he doesn't need to do anything. All he needs is to build army and horses. Well, 
I would have put uh, the farmstead on the other side just to have room around here. Just because it's such a predominant resource collection drop point in the early game. I don't know. Well, I mean, there's not really else you could put it. It's not really a, a big deal. But just for traffic. <laughs> traffic purposes. Traffic management purposes. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's GG. Like, once Borg's, Borg has 1,000 food. Like... Valorant, yeah, he's sitting on a thousand food, but that, that <laughs> but like, Borg's gonna be sitting on two thousand food soon. He can't even spend it all. Like, what do you spend all that food on? <laughs> Just army to get more wood. Look at this. This is obscene. Do horses horses must cost some wood? Yeah, but. This is ridiculous, because he's got the women making that man go faster than these ones. This is absurd. How much food does he have? <laughs> it's GG. I mean, he's doing the same thing, yeah, but he's too late. <laughs> he's too late. Bob did it first. That's the first thing you do is resources. I mean, it's just overwhelming. All he needs to do is get wood. That's all. And that isn't really going to be a major problem. All this food, yeah, just a bunch of women to get more wood. And to build more houses so you're not pop capped. But, ah, oh, this... <laughs> it's ridiculous. More camel archers coming out of the racks. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> they both had the same idea at about the same time. Look at, oh, look at this wiggle waggling happening with the micro. It's just... Wiggle tastic. Hey, wait. My Whoa, my it didn't lag. On those other maps, when you select units, it lags for ages. It's not lagging at all. What? Okay, so those other maps or some something. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I, <laughs> I don't, there, there's a bug and, uh, and it doesn't exist in certain situations, but it does in others. Huh. It's got something to do with the camera. Or something. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, Borg has destroyed all of Valorant's camels. And <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's basically it. Like, what do you do? I mean, Borg... <laughs> he's sat on, like... Oh, I don't even know what his population is because it's too late now, but it's not much. I'll have a look at it in the um, thingy screen. So, units... I guess those ones at the end don't get detected or whatever. But yeah, he just lost mm, so many units there. And the resources score. <laughs> Valorant had a higher score again. Valorant had a higher total score in the first game and the third game. I didn't check the... Hold on. Oh, no, wait. Sorry. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. 
Menschen. Uh, <laughs> and he was not far off in this one. Interesting. Yeah, he had more of a higher total score in, in two of those games. Hmm. There's just something about Borg's play. Uh, yeah. Micromanagement, I think, is the big key. Yeah, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. The grand final will be coming up soon. I'm keen for that. Uh, yeah, get hype. Get hyped. <laughs> Alrighty, I... Alrighty, I hope you have a good one, and peace.